Uh, my name is Victoria Yampolsky and I run the Startup Station. In this video, we're going to be talking about expenses that your early stage startup can have. And we're going to specifically focus on those expenses that you have to pay for, which are your cash costs, where you can find those costs on your income statement, also known as the profit and loss statement. Let's begin by separating all costs into two categories, cash and non-cash. Now, why do you have a non-cash costs on your income statement? That is because the more you can deduct, the less taxes you pay and the IRS allows you to make some deductions that do not have an associated cash outflow, okay? One of those deductions is a depreciation expense, which is essentially a cost of you using a tangible fixed asset. A tangible fixed asset is an asset such as a computer or furniture or any asset that you can touch. Okay, so there are some costs that will be non-cash. Now, all of the other costs are cash costs. They're actual costs that you need to pay for. Okay, and they're split into four categories. Variable, fixed, financing, and tax. So variable costs are those that vary with the level of sales, such as the cost of raw materials or the packaging costs, etc. So what's important to understand here is that you only have those costs when you have sales. If you have no sales, you don't have those costs. Okay? Unfortunately, it is not the case for the next category of costs which is called fixed. Fixed because it does not vary with the level of sales. Those are essentially your operating expenses. Salaries, marketing expenses, legal expenses, bookkeeping expenses, rent, uh, etc. Okay, you're gonna have to incur those expenses even if you don't generate a dollar in sales. That's why they are fixed. Now, fixed does not mean that they are constant. Of course, they can vary. You can increase or decrease your fixed costs as per your strategy. Okay? The third category of costs is a financing cost, which relates to you having to pay interest on your debt. Okay, so this is your interest expense. If you have it, if you don't have it, you don't have that cost. And finally, tax cost is what you have to pay to the IRS. Again, if you have a negative income, you may not have to pay anything or very little, and you may be able to carry forward your losses to future years so that you even limit the amount of taxes that you need to pay in future years as well. To learn more about accounting concepts specifically for early stage startups, please take our class number one on the Startup Station website. And of course, like and comment on this video, share it with your friends, and um, I will see you next time. As always, thank you for watching.